I'm on one of the busiest commutes in the U.S., Oakland to San Francisco. But after a couple of clicks on a new app, soon I'll be floating happily over the winking brake lights. The aim is really to bring the air to the masses. If you live in the Bay Area, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo, a new ride-on-demand urban helicopter service allows you to take a chopper to work like a CEO or a head of state for a fraction of the cost. We offer flights that are ranging between 150 US dollars to 275. So it's not yet a mass market product, but that's definitely more affordable than the 1,000 to 2,000 uh, helicopter flight. The drive across the Bay Bridge below me would typically take at least an hour. It takes me less than 15 minutes. With congestion increasing every year, there are now more customers willing to pay a premium and more startups taking off. Surf Air's flight membership service offers the option of unlimited flights for a fixed price, which means Tracy Kime can afford to work in Silicon Valley and live in LA. We're starting to turn into a convenience culture, so this type of air travel, again, like Amazon Prime, it's just all about convenience. These startups claim they'll help reduce congestion, but this transportation expert says it's probably not going to make the drive to work any faster for those stuck on the ground. In the U.S., a single traffic lane on a freeway carries up to 2,000 vehicles per hour um, when it operates at capacity. I mean, there's no way you can match that uh, in the space above city. So this is absolutely not going to be a congestion relief mechanism. Self-flying vehicles and personal helicopters may be the future of commuting. But for most of us, flying to work is just a dream. Still, the trend points up. Eventually, more commuters will look out of their windows and see this instead of this. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, San Francisco.